It's a book of 600 and I'm rocking with all Urban Central. Let's go. Yo, it's Big Swerve, man. Hey, everybody that know me, y'all know I'm bringing my problems to the internet personal with nothing pertaining to my business at all, but this shit been like affecting my personal day-to-day -day life. So everybody that know me, y'all know I'm independent. I'm Santa Machine. I've been Santa Machine since I was 16 years old, so I was a minor. My parents had to sign me over, you know what I'm saying? We've been family, been independent, made history. Boom. So, 16, first and foremost, I signed my publishing away for perpetual for 15 grand. But, Nate, he claimed he ain't no business. I was young anyway, so bottom line, I got to the bottom of it, of course. We got that back. Been a minute, that contract so many times. Long story short, over the years, been independent, work with other labels, Sony Red, Epic, now we in Republic System. I never had a direct deal with the label, it's always been with, with him, with Machine. So, over the years, when we started generating money, probably, this was we was on the Sony system, like 19. Pull me to the side, like, bro, let me run your business for you. you know, I wasn't really business savvy, and this is somebody I trust with my life, like my brother, like father figure. Let me run your business for you, bro. All right. So, from then on, he's running my business, paying the bills, paying my bills, making sure everything paid, true staff, everything, everything all ran through him. I really was only playing on my ancillary bread, you feel me? Just having motion on my ancillary, not the residual. I always control the residual. Long story short, 12 years later, I've been hearing rumors that I owed his money, right? That I owe him money. So, and I'm not I'm just sweeping it on the rug. So, long story short, I go get up with him. I'm like, hey, bro, what's up with these numbers? Look at the numbers. One, right. And started, like, just thinking, 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 thinking. So, recently, we had a meeting. Me, him, uh, Mick, my old manager. Big bro was in the room. Uh, Coffee was in the room. Big bro was in the room. His brother was in the room. OB. And my brother Mason was in the room. So we just having a conversation amongst us because I wanted witnesses there. So I talked to him, looking in the app, bro. This ain't right. You ain't right. You always control my business, right? Right. You always control the money, right? Right. To him. So it's like, long story short, I'm like, man, bro, it ain't working. You always told me if it didn't work, you was gonna let me out of contract. So boom, it ain't work. I come to him, man, let me out of contract. Sign me out. Sign me out. Three copies. But the thing is. I was about to really let him manipulate me because he good at this to leave out without nothing and just let go back and forth between my lawyer and his lawyer, which we are still doing anyways. I'm like, nah, I already hear something draft. I'm like, you have to sign this in good faith. So after we leave the meeting, after we finish leave the meeting, everybody outside, Mick, uh, Coffee, and Macy still outside. I'm just thinking I'm outside with him. I'm talking. I'm like, nah, bro, he got to sign what I have right here. I'm in my head saying this like because I know him. Go back in the room, his brother having a personal conversation. I said, brother, for me, you got to sign this out of good faith. For me, and we had figured it out through the lawyers, of course, you know. Of course he did. He signed three copies. Boom. Shake hands after everything. Lean. So now, after we finna do the audits and everything, because he know he did bad. It's a long video. It's going to f almost four minutes. I'm about to sum it up. So I've been getting these calls from, like, my criminal attorney in Boston. My criminal lawyer been calling me. Which he paid, I paid and a, a, almost a, a million on this case. And he paid because he paid my bills. My lawyer called me because they know each other. He's like, man, could you call him? He was using like a tactic with Esther. He's saying I made him sign his contract under the rest. And he's trying to like get me arrested for it. And I'm like, he got me blocked. My lawyer, like, can you call him? I try to call him on through. I'm like, can you call him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Got me blocked. But he's using these tactics, these manipulative tactics to take advantage so i'm just coming here to say like you can't win you know and all artists young artists you got to stand your ground man with what's right if i'm saying that i'm blessed to be able to do this you know what i mean had the resources to be able to still provide for myself my family go to war in this way the right way the legal way the righteous way and win and i just want to look in your eyes and tell you you can't beat me you can't what happened? This is our be 
on all day, all night. Yeah, but that's that's Taylor Port and this Casamigos. But come on. All right, so look, we got thirty same time, fool. Yo, Taylor Port, right? We make young adults. I just, like, I'm just now becoming an adult. <laughs> that's good at this time. He's now a human girl. He's four years old. But I was done, though, gang. I'm done. Uh, you drunk Taylor Port. Uh, but you had the choice to drink Taylor Port, and you drunk Casamigo. Right, right. But guess what? Who, who I had the choice to drink but Taylor Port. Wait, 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 wait. Who, who introduced me to Taylor Port? Me. You in the city, you supposed to drink because I drink. But guess what? I'm scared. I'm scared and the ain't on it. So guess so what? I'm scared. So you telling me I'm scared to drink. You scared to drink. I'm scared to drink Taylor Port. I'm scared to drink Taylor Port, right? I'm scared to drink Taylor Port. You scared in the mud. Right what I drink though? What, what I was drinking? Casamigos. So how does that make sense? Who's scared of Casamigos? You look like an idiot. You got the diamond on your nose. Leave it alone, man. Let me tell you. Leave it alone. I told you you're not gonna win this. Casamigos. Guess what? I don't know. Cold drink. Casamigos. And guess what? I told you. I chose to drink Taylor Boy, and guess what? I'm Taylor Boy, and he not lit because he ain't wait, no wait, nigga that like being lit. Wait, 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 wait. Simple. You Simple introduced me. You introduced me to Taylor Boy, right? And you didn't drink it, gang. What you talking about? I ain't drink it. I ain't drink it. No. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna have you. 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 Hey, look, we're going to figure it out tomorrow, man. We're going to figure it out, man, because look, she lying on me. Right she lying on me. You right, you right. You right. You can lie on me. I'm going to get away with you. I'm going to not lie. I'm going to not lie. Yeah. It's different. It's a difference between drinking cool. and being We're going to figure it out, man. This and shit going to go ahead and get continued, man. <laughs> when it's time to continue the party, man. <laughs> Yeah, what's up, man? You already know what it is. Any new artists, companies, up and coming talent, entrepreneurs, telegrams, y'all hit me up in my DM at under this post new talent, man. We're going to work. I'm going to fuck with y'all. So, like I said, man, get to it. Be ready to work. Hit me up in the DM. It's a go. I mean, everybody to pull up to my brother Hot Rod, his prep rally takeover, man, at Raising Canes, downtown Chicago. He will be partnered with Swerving Through Stress in Operation Basketball, man. We're going to have therapists there answering y'all questions from 4 to 9, man. I repeat, everybody, the whole Chicago, man, all the schools go pull up on my brother Hot Rod. It's the Prep Roddy Takeover. Raising Canes downtown on Michigan Avenue, man. Let's get it.